And now to a story you will only see here. A senior citizen is being prevented from selling her van because, listen to this, Fred and Pebbles Flintstone have placed liens on her vehicle. CTV's Paul Bliss joins us live with this head scratcher of a story. Paul, you also discovered the problem may have been caused by Ontario government workers. This all sounds unbelievable. Uh, Looney Tunes is what some are calling this story. And yes, Michelle, I have just traced the problem back to some government workers that were doing some tests. And through a series of procedures, they ended up placing liens on the vehicle. The 75-year-old woman in the name of Fred and Pebbles Flintstone in a story that's hard to believe. When a 75-year-old Perth woman showed up at this dealership to sell her van nine months ago, she got the shock of her life. Cartoon characters Fred Flintstone and his daughter Pebbles had placed liens on her vehicle. The senior was even more stunned to learn she couldn't sell her 10-year-old Chevy until Fred and Pebbles canceled the liens. Well, listen, this is just Looney Tunes. PC MPP Randy Hillier has been helping his constituent navigate this cartoon-like foul-up. The answer that we got back from everybody was um, Maureen had to go to court, had to engage the services of a lawyer to fix up what is so obviously and so clearly a total muck-up. But Maureen might not be the only victim of this bedrock boondoggle. CTV News has obtained documents showing other vehicle information numbers are listed on the papers that caused the problem. And that could result in more cartoon chaos for other motorists. The liens clearly reveal Fred and Pebbles as debtors, showing an address of Yellow Brick Road. We showed these to the Minister of Consumer Affairs. She was stunned. I've just learned about it. Uh, we're on top of it. I want to get to the bottom of it. The documents reveal the registering agent is PPSR test data, which is linked to a system within Service Ontario. This implies there may have been some testing going on, and that's how Maureen's real-life VIN number became the target of the Flintstones lien. Maybe Fred and Barney were working at uh, the Ontario government that day. MPP Hillier says until Fred and Pebbles cancel or the government steps in, the Flintstones lien will remain in place. Well, Maureen, the senior in this story, is described as everyone's grandmother. She didn't want to come on camera. But as a result of our investigation, the ministry has just informed me it's removing the liens on the two VIN numbers that I provided them with earlier today, and the owners of those vehicles are going to be notified that action is going to be taken to help them out. Live at Queen's Park, I'm Paul Bliss. We'll send it back to you.